Hello everybody, I'm Matthias Neu out of the Gronau Emerson office in Germany and today I like to install AMS Machine Word together with you. Before we really start with doing the installation, I recommend to always have a look into the system guide first, since in, within the system guide you find the system requirements, the environmental requirements for the server and all those things. So let's check that first before we really jump into the installation process. Now I have the system guide available here and as you see there in chapter 2.8 you find the deployment scenarios. So there are different scenarios and with the installation I'm going to show you today uh, we're starting with showing the internal single server scenario. With clicking on to here you see what it means since the machine works installation um, includes the uh, database installation as well as the agent installation and with the single server scenario everything is located at one machine so you can have installation environments where um, the agents are externally as well but with the simple installation the straightforward single server scenario everything is located on the one machine that i'm using here now Another thing that I recommend to have a look to is the system requirements and you can hover that directly from this chapter in the manual in the system guide with clicking on to here and you will find the requirements for your machine where you're going to install that finally, where you want to install that finally. So you see that the operating system, what type of server it should be, um, how the processors and the RAM needs to be, the hard disk and so on and so on as well for the agent server, for the servers and the clients finally as well. So you should have that checked before really starting with the installation. Now after having done that, uh, you see that I have the file already stored to my virtual machine where we're going to install that now. And with double clicking onto the file folder, you find that there is a setup uh, application that needs to be processed. And with double clicking it, um, I can close the window here in the background. And you see that the installation immediately starts. So it tells you at the first step to um, yeah, shut off the Windows updates, the server updates if required, since uh, this may cause some longer durations. So this is just pre-settings you need to cover and you need to check. But the wizard that drives you through the installation process is a very powerful wizard here. It always tells you exactly what to do. Now, before we now press the next button and start with the installation, there is one thing I'm going to do and um, I'm going to show a stopwatch just to make sure we understand how long it finally takes. Um, I can start that in a minute. But um, yeah, just just for getting an understanding, I, an idea how long the installation process needs to be done. And another thing that I already tell you, during the installation process, we should expect a few restarts. So the server will be restarted multiple times in between. Um, so it's installing single components and restarting from time to time. So that's another reason for having the stopwatch running during the installation. And now let's start the watch and start it running and press the next button for getting it started. So the first thing is the software license agreement. I accept the terms here. You can read that for sure. Uh, but finally, you need to accept the terms, otherwise it will not let you install everything. And with clicking the next button, it now asks me what I want to do. So I want to have the full installation AMS Machine Work Server, uh, including um, everything. So I press next here. Um, I have everything internally since I told you it's a single server installation. So pressing next here as well. Uh, going with default settings for SQL and um, selecting the internal MongoDB as well here. So that's just all the settings. I'm going to install that to my drive C. If you have multiple drives on your machine, you can choose another one as well. And with pressing the next button, it asks me as well which agent should be included, which is the wireless agent and the asset monitor agent that I can check here was before pressing the next button. And after that, we are already good to go and get it started from here with pressing the next button now. Since all the pre-settings, what to install and how we gonna uh, how we want to install it are done from now. 
Now pressing the next button, um, you see it, it will start the installation process. And the first thing we need to do is rebooting it. So was pressing the reboot button. Um, it told me that I'm gonna sign out and was close. It will reboot my machine. And that finally means I now need to log into my VM once again. So doing that real quick. And after having done that, it uh, yeah, you see the machine is still starting. So we now just need to wait for a moment until the installation will be followed automatically. So you see the server is up and running again, but the installation now gets started and follows up with all the different tasks. And the only thing now we need to do is wait, wait and reboot our server from time to time. So I just gonna leave the clock running here and uh, well, um, and you would see what happens. So another reboot required, as said before, this will happen multiple times during the installation. Don't worry about that too much. Just give it some time for getting restarted again and it follows up automatically. So you see, finally, there are multiple tasks that we're now running through during the installation process. It's up to 39 tasks here, and it's doing the installation fully automated. And uh, well, we will leave that running now um, and see what happens, how long it takes finally with rebooting where required. All right, after doing a time jump of approximately 20 minutes, uh, you see that it has is finished with all the installation of the dependencies and assets for another reboot. So doing a reboot now and logging into my VM afterwards. There you see, it's just starting, restarting the VM. And uh, well, let's wait a, a few more moments here until the installation will be followed up fully automatically. Okay, and at minute 25, run about it asks us for another reboot. Let's, let's do that. Uh, yeah. And again, the server is starting and the installation will follow up automatically. Yes. All right, after around about 50 minutes, you see that it is asking for another reboot, but all tissues are set up as completed. So you may also have recognized now the two new icons on your desktop, which is the AMS Machine Works icon and the Asset Explorer icon, the peer tier. And uh, well, as I said, after around about 50 minutes, we're now good to go. And I will give it another final reboot before our system is up and running and ready for being configured. All right, now you see there is no uh, installation screen coming again after that. And we now have our two new icons, which is the Asset Explorer, as I said earlier, and the AMS Machine Works icon that allows us to start Machine Works. Um, so it's ran about a 50 minute, 55 minute job. So if you're planning the installation, the um, single server installation, uh, you should at least schedule an hour for that. Um, potentially a few minutes more for getting everything checked and prepared from an uh, installation environment, pre-settings. Um, but yeah, well, so this is how easy it is to do the installation finally. It went smooth. It takes its time for sure. 
Um, and it asks us for some rebooting in between, which is the only activity we need to focus on from installation perspective. But you see the, the wizard ran through it as expected without any error messages and without any difficulty. So finally, this can be done by nearly everybody who wants to do the installation uh, without difficulties and a lot of training up front.